just want an egg and bagel from this place. But uh, oh, I gotta make another. Will it make two recordings? I have no idea how this works. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna make another episode and send it in the Discord. You guys just join us. Oh, okay, got it. Be back in one second. See how the thing is made right now. Last of Us for five. All right, that's ninety one. Not what I wanted to do. Where is it? Oh, this one. That one. Uh, where is the copy link? All right, that's good. That's good. We're going to get started. Okay, this is happening. actually matter because it would have been too fast for anything to happen but the stage link was live for a second but who the fuck's gonna join <laughs> who's gonna actually gonna join did it actually that show be, the... that 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 would have been really funny though that's all right and then josh doesn't get in yeah it'd be hilarious fucking <laughs> just joins in randomly for it, it funny i have control over everything just boot everyone Come on, what are you doing, Josh? Come on, He's let's the one go. With the time constraint here. There he is. Did you get your you get your sandwich? Ooh, I got some bagels to eat. I'm struggling over here to make an order. <laughs> What'd you do it on your computer? Are you doing Grubhub? <laughs> really good question. I was doing Grubhub, yeah, but I don't do know. Your computer. I really about you should, you should use Chow now if you can. <clears throat> China, well, the thing it. is, thing is, I gotta, I gotta be like vocal for the next like three hours, and I want to eat before. But it's not. I don't think whatever I order, it's not going to be here before. I'm just going to get a BLT from Jersey Mike's. Um, <clears throat> do, you like, do you like mayo? Do I like mayo? What's the joke? Jersey, the joke is Jersey Mike's is just like all mayo on their sandwiches. If you ask for it, yeah. So I don't are ask you, for mayo. Are you louder too for some reason? Yeah, you are Me? louder. Yeah. How is Me? that possible? Has anything changed for you? I did literally nothing different. All right. We can get started real quick. But yeah, so um, yeah, Chow Now is great. If you haven't used it before, it is, um, it gives more, uh, more fun. Doesn't take as much. Doesn't take as much and also gives more funds to the, the restaurant owners. So that's what we mm. use. Not everything's on there. So we, we look at Chow sure. Now first. And if it's not there, then we go back to Grubhub or Seamless. Right. Also, a lot of restaurants now have their own online ordering platform. Yeah. We also use that too. So, all right. Uh, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Wait, I'm not actually recording. Hold on. <laughs> just kidding. You, know, I, you, you actually record these? I thought they just go on YouTube. I I mean, I have to hit record on on Streamlabs or Streamlabs. Wow. No, what am I doing? Squadcast. That's the one I'm looking for. To actually be able to record the Ow. audio. Ow. To put them out on podcast. But everyone else, we normally don't do these live. We've been doing these recorded, and everyone just tunes into it later because I'm like. Testing something, but it doesn't actually work. So it's fine. Anyway, uh, because we talk about spoilers, we don't want people getting spoiled and so on. So anyway, all right. What's yeah, so up? If you haven't watched episode four or five, make sure you don't stay in the Twitch chat. Yeah, and if you you should, because it was last week, and there's another episode today, and we're very excited yeah. to watch. So anyway, yeah. what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast. I'm your host, Vash, joined as always by Chef Krondo and Ashley Pastrami, the Marvel Snap Master. Uh, we're not talking about video games right now. Yeah, he's snapping it up right now. He's doing. I'm not snapping it up right now. Oh snap! Anyway, I'm uh, downloading Chow now. We are here to talk about episodes four and five of this small indie show called The Last of Us. 
Some actors you may have never heard of before. Some actors you definitely have never seen before on other Disney streaming channels. Major, so. major, major shows in television and movies. Yeah. So let's just dive right in because we got two episodes to get through and we have half an hour in which to do it. So we're going to run through and talk about this. So uh, episode four, for people who don't remember, was uh, set off with uh, Joel and Ellie running through the countryside gallivanting and sprinting i'm just kidding they're they're driving in the car um and they're seeing um you know that this is when they get into kansas city which is different uh, in the game it's pittsburgh but you know where they where they shot this which i believe is uh, calgary i believe no, yeah 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 um is 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 resembles it's kansas, kansas city. it's supposed to look like kansas city it resembles yeah. kansas city more than it does pittsburgh because pittsburgh yeah. is you know is a little bit more denser and whatnot um so uh which i th- is fine i they've been they've already been um, deviating from the, the 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 game a bit, and also makes more sense because like you know Pittsburgh, Kansas City is like middle country as opposed to Pittsburgh, which is only like six hours from Boston, so yeah. it makes more sense of why they would uh you know just like it shows more elapsing of time and whatnot. So anyway, so they they get there and then they have this whole confrontation where I love that they pulled that thing from the game where like you know the guy because like help 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 me and then they just straight up yeah. just run through it. Uh, also, li- also line by lines from episode four was the the nudie magazine hilarious, and then <laughs> yes. also finding the Hank Williams uh, cassette. I'm so glad that they did they include. It. I was like, I didn't know if they're gonna actually continue yeah. that. And change both it, both so. of those things, which is which is hilarious. Yeah, but um, they had. I just really, really liking like the dynamics that they're really building towards. They're kind of they're really at least in episode four they hint at it, and when episode five we talked about it. They really talk about, um, they really hint at, you know, the whole, you know, loss of innocence and Joel becoming a protector now as opposed to just being cargo. So, which is just like why they're kind of going for it. But then, um, you know, in episode four, we're, um, we are introduced to a new person, Kathleen, who is played by, I'm trying to remember her name. Uh, the actress's name. She's in so much shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm really blanking on the name, but, um, Anyway, she um, uh, she is like in the game. You're like up against Fedra, and so there's like really no resistance outside of uh, the fireflies. But I really like that. Well, you there's ha- hunters though, right? Yeah, there's hunters. Oh yeah, yeah. And there's the, hunters. And these are kind of supposed to be hunters, aren't they? They're, I guess so. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little bit. Um, Melanie person- Linsky, that's yeah. her name. Personified as like hunters, whatnot. Even though they're just yeah. resistance and whatnot. Um, and then they, you know, they make an untimely demi- get un- have an untimely demise next episode. <laughs> to say the least. Um, but I just like how they're showcasing like how other societies have played out, um, and also how like there's you know people essentially like you know everyone thinks that they would do a better job than the the powers that be, only to like fall back into the exact same thing that you know the previous regime kind of was doing anyway well so. also yeah because i think in the well we don't find it out in i guess we do a little bit in episode four of how terrible terrible fedra, fedra was in kansas city specifically compared to like the fedra we see in boston are just like shitty authoritative mm-hmm. yeah but they're right? it's just a controlled area i mean like yeah they're, they're not like oppressed right I mean, they, i guess and, and wait i mean yeah well they are you think about the rationing not as not as bad as they're it, but not as much as is depicted in the Kansas but then, City. Yeah, area. when you get to Kansas City, there's like rape, torture, uh, fucking black bag, like kidnaps and shit. So there's like definitely like there was a, a, a I don't want to say a more extreme cause for resistance, but like you you know that's obviously some fucked up shit. But I mean, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll talk the talk about how the the resistance changes because we don't really see the resistance being outwardly terrible in episode four. It's more so episode five. Um, but it is really interesting that. Um, well, actually, everything I want to talk about more so is episode five. So never mind. Keep going. All right, we, yeah, we'll, we'll get through. <laughs> well, no, hold four on. Quickly. My favorite, my favorite part of episode four is when they crash the car, and in the game, this is they almost nailed the angle and everything in which Joel has to basically save him and Ellie, and the stark difference between the game and the show is when. Uh, Trey is going to enter the the screaming contest, but um, Joel like gets attacked by a guy and he's like kind of losing and Ellie comes in and shoots the dude. That's definitely okay. So in the game, the way it happens is that something happens where Joel gets uh, knocked out by a infected and his gun is like in a 
pool of water and he can't get it. And the infected is like, you know, about to get him and Ellie comes up and shoots it. So they effectively replace that scene, which is a very important scene in the game because that's the first time that Joel gives Ellie a gun. And, you know, he kind of gave her one early in the, in the TV show. And I was wondering how they were going to spin her kind of doing her first kill, I guess, so to say. And that is how they depicted it. And I thought it was pretty good. Uh, they nailed it in my opinion, but I love how like they get out of the car and he's like, go hide in the wall. And she kind of hesitates for a second. And he's just like, do what I tell you to do. And she does what he tells her to do. And then he just like goes on and does his badass Joel shit and kills everybody. And um, great, great, great depiction of that whole scene. Cause it's in the game. That was a pretty, pretty huge turning point. And um, you know, I, I remember dying there several times, um, <laughs> but uh, that was, that was probably my favorite part of the whole, the whole episode four. Yeah, there's a lot of good. Uh, you start to see the, the the character development change. You go like you, you're along for the ride with these characters. You start to you know in the middle of the season ish because it's only nine episodes. So you start to really understand and get a sense for what what the characters are up against, the stakes that are there, and why you know this, everything's so important. Um, and, you know what's what essentially what's happening, and just the realistic aspect of like, um, you know the guy like not. You know, in, in the game, you kind of like people call out for like, this is more so in, in part two of the game where you actually hear like the other people call out the other, you know, people's names. Like, it's like, oh shit, they got Kevin, you know, that sort of thing. So it's just like, yeah, you kind of hear that in the background of like, and it just gives it more life to the show and not just be like, okay, I killed a bad guy, blah, 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 whatever. Like, you don't know. Like, you could be someone who's a resistance fighter or a terrorist, like, depending on how you look yeah. at it. So. It just, it's just great. Um, it's just such good writing and such good storytelling. The writing, is so good. the writing is so good. And I like that they had the, I like that they had the actor that played. Um, oh my god, why is Joel's brother's name Tommy? Tommy. Tommy. No, I Tommy. like the guy that originally played the voice actor for Tommy was Catherine's right hand man. I mean, apparently they're doing that a lot, yeah. and there will be even yeah. more about it there will be there's like more voice actors that will be coming into the show as just other people yeah well, charlie you, you, i think you mentioned that the um oh my god why am i blanking out all of the characters names nolan right north now? yeah yeah so the two that's the, the head of, of uh fireflies was actually the character that played the um uh, original got, character in the show played the marlene game. yeah Right, Marlene, right. That's actually so, yes, her. Marlene I, is actually I'm, that's exactly the voice. That's the voice. I'm glad name. that they pulled these same people out because yeah. they did such a good job with it in the game that I'm glad that they get to see the the big screen. Yeah, they get to bring yeah. it full circle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it it definitely brings a level of authenticity to the TV show that a lot. I mean, I, I feel like fans of the game are noticing, and it. You know, it makes us it, it's kind of like pleasing the fans a little fan, little fan service. But people that don't know that they just get to see these people that are doing really good at their roles because they kind of are those people, so to say. Yeah. Or at least they've just been in that world. Necessarily. They yeah. Not even be yeah. like like for Marlene's isn't she was that person. Right. But like some of the other ones that they're just they just were a part of that world for a bit, you know, so they, they understand some of some of the dynamic of that already built world from somewhere else. Yeah, and then you have the guy who plays Joel in the game, uh, Nolan North. He's his, uh, I think it's Nolan North. Or is that is that Uncharted? I can't remember who it is. Uh, but yeah, he he's um he's actually in the game. Or he's in the show later on, which we won't get to. But like when it's more of a snow country. Um, but oh yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like one I think of the it's crew. actually the next episode. If I'm not well, mistaken. I think this. I think episode tonight's episode six, goes into yeah, right. um. Uh, there's Joel is Troy Baker. Troy Baker, that's what it was. Nolan North is. Who also did, I think Troy Baker's also always um, the Joker. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he is a really good Joker. He, he was the Joker in, I think, uh, Arkham stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, continue. I, don't know. Uh, I think it's, I, tonight either might be that or it's going into uh, the left the left behind aspect of it, you know, when they talk about um, Tommy's Dam. Oh, uh, ooh, I mean, maybe. The, tra the trailer for, for episode six showed... It, it showed when they meet back up. So oh, that's I true. Know. Yeah, I forgot about the dam part where they have to go and like restore the dam. Where they find Tommy at the dam? I can't. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head in the game. But yeah, and I think I think you're right. I mean, they go meet up with him tonight, but we won't get we won't spoil it too much until we get you know, some other stuff. But anyway, um, 
Yeah. So it, you know, the the there's a lot of world building and setting up in Kansas City and the stakes of uh, the entire time during that episode. Even though I know how the, how it happens, like how the fuck are they going to get out of this? I yeah. had no idea. It's like they're stuck. They're in a town. Um, you know, it's just like you know how are they going to navigate this whole entire thing? So it was, it's just like really good at building anxiety and whatnot. So, um, but they have um. Uh, with the end of the episode ends with them like trying to go up into a skyscraper to get a better aspect, and then they wake up with Henry and Sam holding them at gunpoint, which we'll get into episode five now. So, any other notes on episode four? Yeah, it was tight. Who is Amy Wershing? Amy Wershing is the uh, is a voice actress for Tess. She passed away from cancer. Ah, uh, oh, that's right. Okay, that happened recently too. Yeah, I believe that's who it is, but I'm I could be I could be wrong. Off the top of my head. I'm not very good with names. Numbers I'm much better I'm much better with. But anyway. So <laughs> episode five. Uh episode five um essentially tells the story of Sam and Henry, uh, which I actually like how they incorporated that as like, you know, Sam and Henry were um you know, or Henry was, you know, a part of the um essentially I don't know how what did he call him? A contributor, I think it was. Um you know, collaborator. Collaborator. Yes. There yes. Yes. Go. Thank you. So, um, they say he's a collaborator, which means he was like giving information to Fedra, working with Fedra to help out people. Um, and really just kind of gave it higher stakes. I don't remember what happened, um, in the game between Sam and Henry with Joel. I know that they, they switched things up and made Sam deaf, which I really thought made the entire, um, you know, made the dynamic really, great because it made required Sam to rely on Henry more than just being like another person you could talk to. Whatever. I also so, thought it made the, the episode a little bit, it gave it a little bit of depth, you know? Yeah. It gave reason for it. Um, and it just really made the ending of that episode, like way more heartbreaking than it was. So, but, um, essentially with that, they were just going through, try make, having uh, some plans to get out, um, out of episode, I'm sorry, getting out of, um, Getting out of um, you know, the town. Thank you. Sorry. Um, and then trying to get you know go through all the 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 tunnels and whatnot. I was like really like while they went through the tunnels, I was expecting them to get like bombarded. Swarmed. Oh, yeah, swarmed. I expected it to be like a bombardment. Like yeah, uh, I I didn't expect it to be kind of a walk in the park like it was for him. But uh, the following scene definitely is why you know. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Which is interesting because um, I, when they, they, I think in episode four, there was a moment where um, Catherine went into a jail cell of some sort and there was like a pool. Oh, like, no, that wasn't the, the jail cell. No, no, that wasn't the jail cell. That was when they were just looking at um, uh, Terry, her right hand, uh, Tommy's voice, showed her a crater that was being formed right, in, right. in an which abandoned is, which building. Is what, which is what ends up being the, yes. but I because mean, we I learned like, in episode five that uh, Fed right. pushed all the infected underground. Yeah. Uh, so 15 and, and years ago, and they were wondering where they were. So well, everyone else, we I think, I think probably ter ter like the higher echelons of the hunter, like of the resistance. And they probably knew about the, uh, the infected being, I mean, I'm sure actually everybody did knew about um, in, in Kansas city knew that Fedra pushed, um, the infected underground because I'm sure that Fedra probably touted that as like a great thing that they did was they, right. they got rid of the infected, but it comes to think of a very interesting, um, very interesting thing here is, you know, towards the end, obviously we see the, just a massive wall of infected come out, which I'm skipping a little bit ahead of some of this episode, but I'm only saying this because the biggest reveal is we see a bloater come out of the ground, but I'm thinking like if these infected were underground there for 15 years, there was probably like, dozens if not hundreds of like bi other bigger like other bloaters and other like crazy infected just because of the evolution of the infection in, yeah in this world build like we saw one and obviously that's probably just for shit like you know cgi reasons and all that stuff but like god there's probably like so many other terrible things down there because of how long they were just all cramped in a space like 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 going on yeah but yeah Hey man, in the in the game, well, I mean, actually, that's 
Charlie, remind me, is the gym the first time you see a bloater? Yes. The gym is. Yeah. So, so, so that was, that was what I was really excited about. And I guess they're not, they're not going to go that, that way. Cause it was with Bill. So they, I, I thought the reveal was pretty good. Uh, it was a little, they, they could have done a little more with it. Com- I mean, considering the bloater has several attack moves in the game that are but yet, I think ridiculous. In, so I've, I'm I've sure seen we'll that also see people talk weeks. about, I, I, I doubt we'll ever, we'll ever see uh our our protagonists actually fight against bigger badder infected other than clickers and runners why do you why do you think that because when you get attacked by a bloater in the game you, you can get punched and hit and like you put a bandage on and suddenly your health is back back to normal but like in the real world that's obviously not how that shit works yeah, that's true so yeah. it's either gonna be like fucking a crazy explosion that kills a bloater but it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be like how a game will be, and it can't be. You can't emulate that. You can't. <laughs> you mean you don't want to show like a like a five minute gunfight where he's just repeatedly shooting it and <laughs> yeah, you can't. That's yeah. not cinematic. It doesn't <laughs> yeah, look yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. If you get hit yeah. with the the spore bomb and like you die in the game, like you know, like that's you can't emulate that on screen. It's gonna be a fast thing, right? And I think also like the the scene we saw of the like the hundreds of infected probably even thousands for all we know coming out of the ground and then the bloater just like wrecking house is is more of a realistic way i think they could have shown it i think that was really well a well done way to show that shit yeah. uh yeah the little clicker girl damn that shit was harsh. kansas kansas city's not safe anymore yeah exactly exactly <laughs> yeah um, i know but the Oh, go ahead, Charlie. I was going to say the the sticking to the bloater and you're saying about the, you know the one you know attack moves or whatever. I did like that they put in the uh, the Joel the death because the, you know, that's what happens in the game. Like if he gets you, he yeah. grabs you by the rip your mouth, and pulls your, your head, head off, right, or rips your head in half essentially. So yeah, yeah he'll like oh, literally right. grab yeah, you yeah. by your mouth and then just literally pull your head apart, yeah. like from where your jaw is, just. <laughs> Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, it's pretty so, brutal. <laughs> it is pretty brutal, but I'm yeah. glad that they left it. And you see it. I mean, it's not focused, but it's out of it's out of focus in the background. It's but still it was it, the, the it was message there. was well received. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was really yeah. just. I was just like little nods. Like I like the how they just incorporating these things across the board from the game and keeping yeah. things true to the story. And it just comes was back Catherine's to, character was she actually in? The, I don't remember. No, she's, she's not in the game at all. Right? Her like, Perry, and, I, and I know all that, that she yeah. wasn't, but was there? I I, can't, I I truly can't because this was a while ago I played it. There wasn't a Fedra agent that represented her, right? I don't think so, no. Yeah, so this is just a completely – this is an adaptation of the TV series completely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just makes it it's more good. realistic and grounds it as opposed to them just running around fighting infected and – hunters and fedra <laughs> i love how like yeah. some there were people actually complaining on the internet i mean this is, this is how like silly people are but there were actually people, people complaining that she did not have the body of a po- post oh no it wasn't just people woman. it was actually another prominent actress that got oh like, it was shit on, shit on for doing that she's like well, she oh, should post post like the world you're you're awfully like a uh, thick or like some bullshit it was like yeah. such a shitty thing and she was like go fuck i think the woman like the actress um was it Melanie or uh, hold on? I forgot. Of course, I just looked her up. Um, it was like, go fuck yourself, dude. It, it was a pretty stupid comment. I it mean, it's such a stupid fucking thing to say. She so looks fucking pretty stupid. fucking post apocalyptic in the in the show. They made her look pretty. I don't want to say run down's not the word, but you know what I mean. No, but you look gritty. She's like, like you covered look in dirt, and yeah, you're I mean, you look grimy and gritty, and you're fucking. You've never like, seen you know... you've never seen like curvy people in in no, that was just a, that was just movies. someone being an like, asshole. That yeah, was yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. yeah, fuck that person. Another ding dong. But yeah, yeah um, of all um, of all the things that I did not expect, um, there to be in the in the show was the sniper sequence. I had no, I did not. Oh, that was so good. I did not. Yeah. I was like, I was not expecting that to be in there. Where he where he actually like hides behind the car and then ducks around to the left of the car. Yeah, I mean that's literally how you do it in the game. Yeah, like, it's yeah. literally. The whole like, and he, and he goes uh, left, which is what you do in the game. You go left. It, that's exactly right. And he goes around the left side of the building. I mean, the only difference is, is in the game you're uh, countered by a few infected while you're trying to get there. But um, actually, d- correct me, but the scene where you're like sitting there and you're actually shooting, you're not shooting the people, you're shooting the infected as Ellie and uh, the others are trying to survive. Well, I remember from I, the game, because I never played it. I've only watched video clips of it. But also, yeah. I remember at one point, don't they shoot at a, like, the, I don't know if it's Fed, whoever it is that's chasing them to alert the infected and they swarm a car and shit, too? Yeah. Like, I know that was yeah. a part. Yeah. Obviously, the, the, I mean, the whole arc with this one, that there just wasn't any infected yet to come out and to do stuff with. 
Well, the way they did it's because of the way they did it. I mean, yeah, like that right, right. in the game, they didn't come out. I mean, maybe they yeah, didn't come out of the ground, but it wasn't that whole like the surplus yeah. of infected coming out of the ground was not um, a part of the game, which is cool. I thought the way they, they did it. That shit was, was wild. That shit was fantastic. bonkers. Yeah. 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 Like, tri- like, like rats coming out of a hole, like tripping over each other, climbing yeah. over each other. Yeah. Really, really well. It, done. it actually it, like in capture, it, it, it encapsulates like the essence of like what you would fear the most out of something like that like if you're all out in in the middle of nowhere and there's just eruption of yeah like a swarm of infected come out of the ground like that would literally be the scariest shit you could possibly imagine so oh my god mm-hmm. um, it's crazy it is the only thing i mean like obviously like in a moment of being scared you get scared like what can you do but like the second that car started to fall and you heard that shit it's like get in the fucking cars get in the fucking yeah, cars let's time get, to go dude. time to bounce time to man. go time yeah. to go yeah now, there was I, a similar I, there was a similar scene in the Resident Evil series they just recently did where they were all out in, you know, the military people were all out and they got attacked by clickers. And it's the same thing. They're all outside of their cars shooting these things. I'm like, get in the cars, go. y'all. Like, Time what are go. you doing, dude? Gotta like, let's go. get going. <laughs> yeah, I think I wonder if like also, it's not like outright said, but I wonder if the implication all the infected after they're finished in that area, you see them start running towards the way the cars came. So I wonder if that means that like Kansas City is about the whatever was oh left yeah Kansas City is just done, done so, for. Yeah. yeah. Oh for sure. Just like they're they, they that was it. Like they I mean they, they got in the QZ. So like they they they're they're all done so for sure. Yep. Yep. So the way and then the way that the episode ended was definitely as brutal as I remembered it in the game. Um, cause I, I remember when I played it in the game, the, um, it's harsh. The kid gets, the kid gets infected <laughs> yeah. the, the, and he kills the, he kills the kid. And then yep. he has this like, look, and he does he shoot himself in the head thing. And I was, they nailed, they got, they got, they nailed that scene to the T yes. and, it was very harsh. I, and my friend who obviously has not seen it was just like, well, shit, I guess I can't get in. I can't get into any of these characters cause none of them stick around longer than yeah. one episode. I was like, that's the last of us you know like that's yeah. literally it, the game that, was harsh. Like, that i remember specifically thinking that to myself when he shot himself in the head in the game i was just like well yeah. shit man like we just survived all this sh- epic shit and you just gonna yeah. blow your brains out like that like oh man yeah but, and like uh, the the i mean henry, henry and sam were also just super great actors like henry was really good and i i really yeah. liked the, the actually the like the kind of not switch, but there is like kind of a coming around of Joel at the start of it when Henry tells me he's a collaborator and and uh, Joel's about to like leave, him, like I don't work with rats or something, and like then to like coming around towards the end and it's like you know what would you have done? You know my little, I was protecting my little brother. You know I, I well, feel it like humanizes and, him a little bit. Yeah, what's that? It humanizes him. It humanizes him. It, it, yeah. it, it, it humanizes or him. Or makes him relate. It makes him relatable to Joel. Yeah, it, like it, Joel. It, Joel understands why he did it. Right, and I I think it's really cool that. Um, I think the just the the kind of like warming of Joel every episode where he's kind of like becoming more, more, more less fucking cold than shit is really nice. That's, I think. I mean, that's definitely how the game is too. That you you feel it like gradually over time. Um, oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, Do that's I, actually. The girl was actually... Easter egg from earlier when they were in that underground kids' playroom. She was wearing that Blues Clues shirt. Well, I didn't even yeah. realize that. Yeah interesting sorry i had an amazon package that showed up and they needed some passcode is that a new thing that they're doing oh i don't know hmm. you didn't work for amazon dom what the hell does it work yeah <laughs> come on man oh, God. <laughs> all right so um i don't know what yeah, you actually, guys my package hasn't about, so. gotten here yet do you know where it is dom So, anyways, what were you saying, Charlie? I uh, I wasn't able to listen, so just uh, we were I'll talking you... about the scene where uh, Henry and Sam shoot themselves, and or yeah, the death scene, and then um, we were talking about the relation between Joel or the scene where Joel kind of uh, tells, or not kind of, but he tells Henry why, uh, or Henry tells Joel why he saved his little brother and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, it's like it's, it's... just and just the dynamic of of Joel and Henry from episode four to five and like the kind of coming around from both Joel accepting them into the group. And then at first admonishing Henry for being a, a collaborator and then also them being like, 
you're 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 okay. You can stay. Oh, I remember I remember that scene in the game where you're in the sniper tower, and I remember how many times I fucked up and I accidentally shot Ellie or Sam, and I'd have to restart the whole thing over. That was actually <laughs> a really pain in the ass area, but they did it right. They definitely they de- I, I I was I was at. For some reason, I had such a nerd boner about the fact that they had him go left around the vehicles, just like just like the game, you know. <laughs> just, I mean, it's really, it's real, it's 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 just good to see that they're actually really sticking to like, uh, even though they can't, you know, you, you can't film what goes on in the games. It's just, it, but it, it can never be, it can never be, like tip. It can never be like tip for tack. It can never be like boom boom. You know, I mean, there's gonna no. have to be changes just because that's the way like. Right, so they have to find creative ways to do yeah. the, the callbacks to it, and they're yes. they're pretty much doing pretty sick at it, if you ask me. Yeah, no, yeah. They're, they're nailing it's it. It's great adaptations it. for sure. Yes, um, and all the changes that they made have made sense. I think it's made it you better. Know, int- yeah, if anything, I've made some of it a little better. Right. Yeah, I mean that's I mean, that's what uh, Neil Duck- Druckmann said in episode two at behind the scenes. If you haven't watched the but like the after thing where like they talk about how they how they do it and they're like. Do interviews one? I highly recommend it because it's it's just yes, great. Yes, the BTS insights. stuff is great. Is uh, they said behind, like yeah, you know if they it, I'm I'm misinterpreting, but it's along the lines of or misremembering. It's along the lines of like you know if it's you know if there's an idea that we have and it doesn't make it better, we stick to the game. But if there's an idea we have and it does make the story better, we we deter from the game, which I think is the correct way to do it. So because the game is so it has such a claims to it that they have to do it properly, and honestly, that's what people should be doing for any sort of adaptation anyways like stick to the source material if you can make it better do it but if it doesn't then don't do it because it's like right otherwise you're just 100%. doing a disservice to whatever and the fans and you're gonna have you know upset stuff one on so i'm very curious to see uh not to talk about not to go on a slight side tangent but i'm i like i'm curious to see what they do about the mario movie so with it so fuck off <laughs> It's so fucking stupid, dude. Did you guys the fucking it. SNL skit of Pedro Pascal being Mario was better? So it's, far so fucking, it's so good. It's so good. Well, not only not only did they, I thought that was so great about the Pedro, and this is part of what we're talking about here. But the skit was them doing Mario in The Last of Us, and that shit was really freaking funny, like really fucking funny. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, you need to go check it out. Yeah, but uh, have you guys did you get through towards the end of everything, or not yet? Of what? What are you talking about? Episode five. Well, we talked I mean, yeah, about pretty much. the fact that I feel like Kansas yeah. City is pretty much donezo. Yeah, um, Kansas City and, is done. And Henry and Sam and Henry and Sam shoot themselves. Well, Sam gets bit by an infected, freaks out. Um, yeah, very, very know, sad, I, I, harsh. I <laughs> I, I do thing. like how I do like how they did the same kind of little uh, scene where um, they're burying him at the end, and she in the game. I think she put something different in his grave, not the little etch a sketch thing but she put something else in his grave i can't remember what it was um so i liked that they they still did that throwback and um it's like the only time you're going to st- and this is kind of when you're going to see ellie's childhood their childlike sense, yeah. behaviors kind of go away um because that's what it was in the game so you know she kind of a little bit of her dies inside when she when when sam gets killed so yeah i was literally about def- to yeah, I was literally about to comment on that as well from the uh, Duckman eighty eight saying in chat saying how'd you like the effort of Ellie to trying trying to heal him Duckman oh mm-hmm. right yeah I thought that was just like you know she's trying she very much wants to be like you know have a reason and say like hey my blood is medicine blah 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 she tries to do it and it doesn't work I kind of like that they kept that in the, like realistically because it's like that wouldn't have I mean, that seems like something that would happen in a game, but not necessarily in real life. And I like that they kind of yeah, kept it yeah. more realistic. Yeah. Like, if he had a suddenly healed, I mean, like, what the? F- it's a, it would have yeah, been. 100%. It would have gone weird. Is what it was. So, but yeah, um, I won't get into the reasons. I like they go into, um, what that is, but it's not necessarily like her blood is healing, yes. healing we'll stuff. It, but it's yes. just like you know, there's other things. So, but. Yeah, and it's just like, you know, this kind of starts off and, you know, Ellie just kind of ends it with being, like, shell-shocked, essentially, because they just had these, the first human interaction they've had that people who weren't trying to kill them, um, this is the route it goes, so it's just really just Well, they just talked about, and Joel Joel and um, 
Henry. Henry had just talked about taking the journey together, basically. Yeah. And, you know, there was kind of like this lighthearted moment of like, okay, we got some people we can roll with for a little bit. Mm, eh, not so much. <laughs> Which is very on brand for The Last of Us. So, yeah. yeah. But I'm really, um, I'm really looking forward to see what uh, tonight's episode brings because it's just going to be another gut punch. And <laughs> it's just, it's just what's going to happen. So I'm curious. I don't remember what what happens at this point in the game um, when they get to when they find Tommy. I don't I don't really remember um, the ending of the game, but uh, I know they're doing some flashback stuff with with Ellie to introduce um, uh, oh, what's her name, the girl that she Dina was in love with. I can't remember. Was it Dina? You well, D no, Dina's the girl in The Last of Us Two that she. No, 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 not Dina. It's it's, it's like when she's a kid, right? It's when she gets bit the first time. Oh, I don't out. remember that. Yeah, that's how they that's how they find it. They're doing that flashback. It was a DLC from The Last of Us, which talked about that. And... Oh, you know what? I never played that DLC. Yeah. It's great. It, it it talks about. It's called like Left Behind or something like that. Yeah, they talk yeah. about. It's basically her whole backstory. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, uh, and I think that uh, was it the the the. The woman who played Ellie or voiced Ellie is actually playing like Ellie's mom in this one. Oh, really? Yeah. So I think they're going to get into a little bit of that backstory. So be curious to nice. see. And I like that they're doing, uh, if it's, I don't know when that's happening. I just know it's going to happen because they've talked about it in previous, but I like the fact that they're going to go into her backstory after you've already know her as a character, as opposed to introducing it first. And like, then it doesn't matter as much. Yeah. You're, you already have like the, this, set of feelings associated with that character and yeah. now you kind of get to learn like the backstory a little bit side note i like that they kind of did a little minor throwback or easter egg about the comic books because in the game you have to collect the different mm -hmm. little book comic books along the way and she basically mentions to sam like oh i've got episodes or i've got issues yes, da -na 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 -na. yes. And, and um yeah because that was that like that was actually the collectible item that you went through and found in the game so uh, i did enjoy that i thought that was cool yeah yeah it's nice little nods here and there they're doing great with all the little easter eggs man they're they're keep they're doing the fan servicing the right way where it's not like egregious and we just kind of notice these little things and we're like oh sweet but you know to the average consumer just like yeah i want right to go watch head. craig's uh all of the rest of the stuff that he's done he also has a podcast too called screenwriting i believe is what it's called where they talk oh. about um a lot of stuff behind the scenes in the industry and I just want to go, I, I remember listening to it um, a few years ago when I was like still trying to relearn how to do screenwriting because I was like, I, can't remember, I was just like thinking I wanted to like write a script and couldn't figure out what I wanted to do and someone suggested it. So, um, but I want to go back and watch Chernobyl. I never actually saw the show. I don't oh, know. Chernobyl was great. Yeah, he's, Chernobyl was great. he's one of the creators of that show. So it just makes sense. I actually sense. really enjoyed that. You know, I loaded on my iPad to watch um, all on the plane this week, so. All right. Well, I think that's do it. We're going to keep it quick uh, to 30 minutes. Uh, and yeah, let us know what you think. If you want to come join us on Discord and talk all this film stuff, because our film activities are more than our game activities <laughs> at this point. But you can join us on Discord, discord.me slash OG podcast, where um, we talk about you know video games, what we're playing, what we're looking forward to, a little bit of gaming news. And, and Italian some sandwiches. Stuff. <laughs> An Italian deli the sandwiches. Mozzarella. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for coming out and listening to this episode. We're going to have more. I don't know how, when we're going to be able to record the next episode. Maybe we'll do it again in two weeks when we do the next episode because I'm going to be yeah, traveling maybe. forever. But yeah, great. See you all soon. Cheers. Bye. Peace.